according to the Quran? Are you, is marriage applicable? Marriage is applicable, according to the Quran, marriage is applicable when the individual uh, comes out of a state of uh, purity and they are mature in their mind and they're able to be responsible and accountable. Marriage is applicable, according to the Quran, marriage is applicable when the individual um, comes out of a state of uh, purity and they are mature in their mind and they're able to be responsible and accountable. Marriage is applicable, according to the Quran, marriage is applicable when the individual um, comes out of a state of uh, purity and they are mature in their mind and they're able to be responsible and accountable. It's, it's really common sense science right there. It's, it's really common sense science right there. It's, it's really common sense science right there. It's, it's really you know, okay, um, specific age that uh, you know that occurs, or is there like an age limit? There, like, there's, no, there's, no, no, there's no age because age varies. There's no age because age varies. There's no age because age varies. That's that's a reality. Age varies according to um the maturity level. But age varies according to um the maturity level. But age varies according to um the maturity level. Really, Islam is so common sense, man. You know, first thing, as far as a, a boy, he has to be out of um, puberty. A girl has to be out in the stage of puberty. That's, that's one. They have to, the, the male child has to come out of puberty. The girl child has to come out of puberty, which nature is showing us that they are ready to procreate. That's one level of understanding. However, they have to have the mind where they are able to um, be accountable and responsible for themselves as well as the progeny that they are bringing into the world. So um, the girl child that develops and turns into a woman must be able to care for a child, to nurture a child, not just give birth to a child, but be mentally stable and ready. And that's something that has to be judged by the, that individual, for one, as well as the family, so, um, and, and the community as well. So it really, it really does vary. Hypothetically speaking, if a nine-year-old meets that criteria, are they allowed to marry? If a nine-year-old meets that criteria, yes, they're allowed to marry, yes. Hypothetically speaking, if a nine-year-old meets that criteria, are they allowed to marry? If a nine-year-old meets that criteria, yes, they're allowed to marry. Yes. Hypothetically speaking, if a nine-year-old meets that criteria, are they allowed to marry? If a nine-year-old meets that criteria, yes, they're allowed to marry. Yes. So, so why would you say that that is um not a applicable hadith when you could when you're saying yourself that uh if a nine-year-old meets that criteria of having a menstrual then you know, mature enough to handle the responsibilities that he could get married. All right, so and first thing is not like, like, you know, is that not modern day pedophilia according to the law? Okay, okay, okay so let's, let's slow it down and I'm gonna have to really get out of here in a little bit. Um, in general, um, that would be a really hard exception to the rule. Now, would it be classified as pedophilia, whether you're 11, 12, 13, um, a, a, a man, you know, doing that? The, the lines of that are, are blurred, but yes, many things um, is considered to be uh, pedophilia or, you know, out of, out of line, out of pocket. However, with me, um, I understand my logic and I have a brain. And so we know that Nine times out of ten, a very young girl, such as nine years old, eight years old, ten year old, they're not gonna find no no mate. They're not even gonna be ready for that, like naturally. Now when they start getting to 12, 13, 14 years old, now we got another whole story going. Nine times out of ten, a very young girl, such as nine years old, eight years old, ten year old, they're not gonna find no no mate. They're not even gonna be ready for that naturally. Now when they start getting to 12, 13, 14 years old, now we got another whole story going. Nine times out of ten, a very young girl such as nine years old, eight years old, ten years old, they're not gonna find no, no mate. They're not even gonna be ready for that, like naturally. Now when they start getting to 12, 13, 14 years old, now we got another whole story going. Now when they start getting to 12, 13, 14 years old, now we got another whole story going. Now when they start getting to 12, 13, 14 years old, now we got another whole story going. Now they start getting to 12, 13, 14 years old, now we got another whole story going. And a lot of them that's out there need to be married and need to be linked up. And then a lot of them do not 
we can be linked up. That's just a uh, factual reality. So, yeah, so I'm gonna say that. And a lot of them that's out there need to be married and need to be linked up. And then a lot of them do not need to be linked up. That's just a uh, factual reality. So, yeah, so I'm gonna say that. And a lot of them that's out there need to be married and need to be linked up. And then a lot of them do not need to be linked up. That's just a factual reality. So, yeah, so I'm gonna stay there. I don't think so. Mommy don't play.